All levels of income are better off than they were in 1979. But what the honourable member is saying is that he would rather the poor were poorer. That was Margaret Thatcher, Britain's Iron Lady, who died today at the age of 87. Graham, to many, to her many admirers, Thatcher helped reverse Britain's national decline to her many detractors. She was the personification of a, a new, uncaring political and economic philosophy, Thatcherism. Practically speaking, what did Thatcherism mean for Britain? She revolutionized Britain. She was a revolutionary. After the, after the decline of the 70s, which was you know, determined by statism and industrial action uh, and slow growth. She opened up markets, she liberalized markets. Um, and the first uh, result was deep depression, uh, recession, uh, unemployment, and she was deeply unpopular. Um, but then um, later in the 80s, um, her privatization, her opening of the financial sector, for example, uh, led to a great boom and a real change in Britain. Um, even then she was very, you know, divisive because it was seen as sort of a coarsening of British culture. You were telling me, I mean, you grew up, you came of age essentially under Thatcher. Your dad was a big fan. You were perhaps less so. I mean, what was it like? I mean, there were riots, the trade unions were striking and, and so on. Well, Britain post-war had been in decline. Um, and uh, especially the 70s, this seemed to show, you know, Britain didn't matter anymore. She came in and she was so assertive. She was proud to be British. She was Maggie Thatcher and we were Britain again. I remember my dad waking me up the morning she was elected and saying, she's in and this is the way forward. And initially it was very, very hard. But she led Britain into war, mm -hmm. which sort of rescued her uh, uh, for the first election. Right. She, was, she was not going to win a re-election, it seemed. And then she, she took Britain to the Falklands War, played on this sort of great nationalism mm -hmm. and uh, secured her power at that point. Right. Yeah, what's remarkable to me is that so many of the things that, that, that we were talking about, or Britain was talking about then, austerity, deregulation, the role of government, and, and on the, we're still talking about it. In that sense, I mean, the legacy of Thatcherism, you know, which many people thought would, would, would go away with its author when she uh, was out of government in 1990, I mean, it has endured. Well, she represented this idea uh, of sort of a vision was very much of the, a kind of a, a minimal state, certainly rolling back the state and privatization and low taxes. In practice, she didn't do a lot of that. Spending rose, taxes rose under Thatcher. But it was this idea which went to America. She was very much seen as sort of uh, influencing Reagan. Yes. But in Britain as well, you know, after she left, uh, Tony Blair, instead of uh, the Labour Party, instead of rejecting these policies, embraced them. Right. And they, they influenced Europe, other European countries, the former countries of the Soviet Union as the Soviet Union collapsed. You know, she was there at that time. Um, this idea of the free market sort of spread throughout the world.